Hey guys. Um, I'm actually doing this on three platforms. So if you see me move my face around or eyes around, it's because I'm actually doing it on three separate pages. So hello Diane, hello Bridget. That way everybody can hear what I got to say and uh, no, if y'all hear I'm hoarse, it's because I've been, I've had the pure croup. So, um, thank God it was not COVID. Thank you, Jesus, it wasn't COVID. And hey, Anita, I damn missed you too. Um, so, um, yes, very good. Um, I'm starting to feel a lot better. I'm still, you know, congested, but it's not like it was. So, um, I'm going to let a few more people get on here and I'm going to start um we've got some setbacks and i'm just really just really aggravated and um hi karen um just really aggravated and um some other stuff are looking up but i got a feeling some of these so-called people that think they're you know these big people of the law um you know work at the courthouse they think that they've you know they've got away with not doing nothing or whatever but it's never going to be over attempted murder does not have no timeline so um it, it's coming and it might be it might not even be this year guys it might be two years down the road but they gonna be sitting there thinking you know no nothing's gonna happen but it is gonna happen because god will prevail and and that's just i believe that with everything i got before my dad passed away, he told me, he said, Honey, God says vengeance is his. And everybody who hasn't done nothing about Joseph's case or, you know, haven't done anything, you know, they're going to wish they had it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of start. Some of you that are new here that don't know about Joseph. Oh, I know, Anita. He's hilarious. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and kind of, you know, just do a brief recourse that way y'all will know what's going on my son joseph is 19 now you can follow his story on um facebook at joseph strong um he was hit in the head and left for dead he lay there for 14 hours he snuck out of the house he was set up he was left for dead for 14 hours by the time we found him they told me nothing could be done but i'm one of them moms that i didn't want to believe that god told me something different i waited six months um, I had doctors tell me I was selfish, I was stupid, you know, basically. Um, but now y'all can see that I'm um, glad I didn't listen. Um, I was told that he was he fell from a barn. That was a lie. We knew he didn't fall from a barn from the day the first day. Because the barn was two-story. Um, I love you, Wanda. <laughs> anyway, um, so... What was I saying? Oh, they tried to say he fell from the barn, but it was a two-story barn. And guys, if he would have fell, if you, you know, you could see videos on my YouTube and stuff like that of that. Um, if he would have fell, he would have, he'd probably had a broken neck, broken bones. There would have been blood down there. There was nothing. There was one spot on his head where he got hit in the head. So, um, these so-called people that was supposedly his friends that would have never done this to him, none of them showed up to the hospital. None of them showed up six months later when he come home. They never called. They never checked on him. So that that's what really gave me. Okay, Wanda, just call me. I love you. Um, so that right there told me, you know, if you're trying to hide something, at least try to, you know, play like I didn't do it, you know. But we all know what happened. Um, it was all over a girl. My son was a dirt bike rider. I mean, Utah bike could ride a dirt bike. My God, he was awesome. Played football. was a football star. Um, he was almost a second-degree black belt in karate when he quit. I wish he would have finished. He had fought and won national championship. Hey, Patty. Um, national championships in um, karate. Um, he'd also played baseball and basketball, but it gets to a point where you have to, you know, choose and he chose football over that, so. But I'm going to get to what's going on now. Our insurance has paid for a lot of rehabs and a lot of, you know, things. Um, and we're very lucky for that. Now, when he went to Texas, we had to pay out of our own pocket for three months, $12,400. That come out of me, my husband, and my mom helped us a little, and his nanny helped him with about 3000 of that. So, um... 
it drained. It drained. Anything that I'd ever, me and my husband ever say, anything, it had drained. Um, yes, Wanda. And Wanda, yep, he learned how to flip over there. Um, but nothing has been done. Um, the GBI has, has passed it on to several different people. Um, as they passed it on, um, the last person who got it, I was really happy because this person had worked in um, the city here, which I have family that works in there, and I was really excited because I really thought she was going to do a good job. Um, <laughs> she hasn't done anything. I haven't seen anything done. Um, when I tell y'all nothing, I mean, I have given them leads. They've done nothing. Um, they want to stick to the fact that he fell from a barn, and y'all notice my voice changes because I'm, excuse me, I'm pissed off. January the 1st will be four years since my son had his life took from him. His whole life was took. will be four years. But this is what the new DA was just sweared in. And let me tell y'all, I was for this district attorney. But I did get something a little sketchy when I found out she's the one that had Joseph's case all them years. Because the former DA we have, and he's kin to us, which I don't, I don't tell not many people. I do tell y'all, but I'm just going to say we don't claim him because he's in recourse with Jackie Johnson over there in Brunswick. The one, um, yeah, they did, Wanda. And they, um, y'all know the Ar Armad Arbery case, she was indicted. And I'm pretty sure that Barnhill, the one that we just got rid of, is going to be indicted. Um, if he's not, I will be shy. Um, I'm sorry, Roberta. It's horrible. Horrible. Well, this new district attorney, I didn't know this because my family is a huge family here in Waycross. And anybody will tell you that my family is a good family. We love everybody and we try to help people. But I'm going to tell you something. When you mess with our family, there's a lot of us. A lot of us. And you think you're going to get away with something. And you think because you're in a high authority that you're going to just walk away and do what you want to do. It doesn't work like that. There's people that's a boss. That's that boss's boss. And that boss's boss. And our family, we don't start down here on the totem pole. We go up the totem pole. We go up to the high people. So, um, I'd be worried. I would be very worried. Because if you're not doing your job, you need to go to the damn house. And that's how I feel about it. I'm mad. I'm ill. Um... I went to this new district attorney, and I sat down with her, and I give her the benefit of the doubt. I actually wanted to like her. I did at first, but, you know, she, I offered to take a picture with her and Joseph when she was at Swamp Fest, and she said, no, I better not do that. People might think I'm taking sides. And, you know, I took up for her on that. I said, well, I kind of understand what she's saying. Um, but my mama had a... She said to me, Tatum, there's a reason she don't want to take that picture with that young and She's on their side. She ain't going to do nothing about this. Well, I found out something my family didn't vote for. Well, my daddy passing away, we didn't get to go to the family event, so I hadn't really talked, but, you know, we've all we've all talked now. Um, also, the solicitor, a lot of y'all might not know this, I had to pay a $400 fine, which I probably... They can laugh all about it. The ones that had something to do with my son, they laugh about it. They think, oh, Tatum's above the law. Thought she's above the law. She paid a $400 fine. I could have fought it. And I could have probably done it. But I paid that $400 fine for a point. My point was, I did push that person. But when you say you're going to spit shit on my daddy's grave and take a shot and watch me clean it up, there's a reason. But here's the thing. He threatened me with a gun, but he didn't get nothing. Still ain't got nothing. Still ain't got nothing. It's, the whole family's meth ads. They've been in and out of jail. Um, I'm not going to say no names, but everybody knows who I'm talking about. They, they've been in and out of the chain gang. You know, um, it, it, it just, it just, I don't understand it. But the cop was new that did, you know, did the thing on me. He, he was not somebody who knew the situation. Um, thank you, Gail. Um, but the solicitor was my daddy's friend all his life. And now that my daddy's gone, oh yeah, Pam, you know I will. I'll rock that orange jumpsuit and I'll smile like hell. Because it's going to be justice. I mean, that's just how it's going to be. But you know, like, like one of the judges, and I have nothing respect for these judges because let me explain something to y'all. I know a lot of these judges, and they would love to have Joseph's accusers <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Come before them. 
and they would love to try them. But they can't because you got to get these bunch of idiots over here to do something. And they're not going to do nothing. Because they're going to sit over here on their sorry asses. And I said it. I'm going to say it tonight. I've said it. I have worried about it. It's almost four years. Y'all ain't doing nothing. And you're going to do something, okay? If not, when I get through telling everybody what y'all what y'all are doing and how y'all are doing it when i'm finally gonna go on the news i'm gonna go nationally i'm gonna i'm gonna shout it to the rooftops and tell your names i tell just how damn sorry you are because you may tell you what makes me matter than anything excuse me for cussing y'all but i get pissed off y'all want me to tell y'all what really makes me mad these people have children they have children now y'all tell me i am penny y'all tell me how they can lay their head down at night. They can look at their children. And know. That these that this person tried to kill my son. Joseph was hit in the head and left for 14 hours. He was left there till I found him. Six months in a coma. And nothing's been done. But. This is what really gets me, guys. They can lay down at night and they can sleep and they can know what they what these people have done to my child. They was people partying around him while he lay there dying, taking trying to take his last breath. The mama still ain't been to court, the one that sat there and told him to lie. Told him because of my family we'd have him locked up. But here's the thing, guys. Everybody makes mistakes. If these kids would have come down here and said, Miss Tatum, or my daddy was alive then. Mr. Luther, look, this is what happened. Please help us. She told us not to tell. I would have helped them. I would have done everything in my power to protect them. My daddy would have. But what gets me is, these kids can live their lives. These parents, they know what these kids know. They know the one that hit him. Their parents know. And they don't give two shits. They will cover it up. They will do what they can. And they will fight it till the cows come home and they ain't no more meal. But I'm going to tell you something. Y'all all think she ain't going to get nothing done because January 1st is four years. Y'all need y'all need to read up on your law. Yes, I do. We do have a lawyer. Um, we have more than one lawyer. Um <coughs> And it looks like there's a lot of stuff I can't talk about, guys, because I don't want to give the upper hand on these idiots that, th that ain't going to do nothing. But about the district attorney, I know she's going to see this, and all I'm going to say is I want everybody here to pray for her. I want everybody here to pray for her, because she comes from Jackie Johnson's office in Brunswick, and that right there tells me I never knew that. God forbid the woman ain't learned nothing. You know, I left there, too. I mean, the, the Armand Arbery case, I don't care if you're white, black, pink, purple, that was murder. That was murder what them boys did to him. But I don't understand. They have none of them went through what we have went through. Y'all, They have not watched my child. I, it caused me to go into depression so bad that I couldn't get out of bed. If it weren't for my mama that helped me and helped me take care of him at that time, I don't know what I would have done. I'd have been lost. And it ain't her, it ain't her place. But when I tell y'all I couldn't get out of bed, I couldn't get out of the bed. There was a point where people on TikTok knew something was wrong because, and, and on my reels, because I would post every day, dance with my animals, having a good time. And it started to be the same ones over and over and over and over again. And it was because I was so depressed. Because I don't understand how human beings, especially people in authority, and they have children and can't do nothing. We've asked them to go talk to certain people. They don't do it. Yes, he is a miracle. I will say that. But karma is real. And I say God says vengeance is his. My daddy always told me that and I believe it. And I know that, you know, these these solicitors and district attorneys and GBIs, they think, you know, she don't know what she's talking about. We, we do the law. We're going to do what I want to do. When I tell you, I will go to the end of the earth. I will go to the end of the earth. I will travel wherever I need to travel. But now that elections is over, and also, you know, it's been said before that um, Tatum don't live in Atlanta. She don't know nobody. I got people that works in the governor's office that I know personally. 
I've even got a family member who works there that works for the governor. And also, um, I have family that lives in Atlanta. My husband's like second home is in Atlanta because that's where he's worked out of forever. So, um, when certain people see this case and they see the proof that we have, yes, Wanda, I am. When you see the proof that we have and you see what has not been done, somebody's going to question your job because you've not done your job. And I know I've been told, you know, I think that the DA might be, a lot of followers have told me this. They think that she is scared to try this case. Well, he has been, <coughs> Dr. Phil has been messaged. He's been sent a letter and he's been emailed. But it does take so many days for, you know, for him to go through. But I will go on Dr. Phil. Um, well, I don't forget what I was saying now. Um, what was I saying, guys? I didn't, I didn't get lost my track of thought. But. When one of them sees this case and they see what we have, and oh, the followers asked me, one of the followers, what was I going to say, asked me was the DA, they thought the DA might be scared to try this case. And um, I'm going to tell you all this. If she tried this case and she lost and she really put her heart and soul into it and she tried to make it stick, I would be I would be happy with her. I would be happy because she tried and she tried to make it stick. Um... Oh, I don't know yet, Alyssa. No, what I'm saying is it takes so many days, but I will go on there. If he calls me, I will go on there. Um, somebody I know actually talked to the people at Dr. Phil, and they gave him my information that wasn't too long ago, and they had to go through a bunch of stuff, but they told them I would go on Dr. Phil. So he is one I would go on. Um, but if she tried the case and really tried, I would be okay. But she's not going to and i think now it's just she's kind of mad with me because she feels like i make her look bad well how can i make somebody look bad that ain't being looked bad because if you're not doing something about a case and you know all i hear is he he fell from the barn but i'm gonna tell you this right here she looked me in my face and said your son fell from that barn and i'm gonna and i'm gonna tell you this i have respect because my papa and grandma were judges my papa's name's on the side of that courthouse out there in Ware county and I'm going to tell you this right here. He's like, they've always been taught to respect people in law enforcement. To me, that I don't consider that law enforcement because I consider that pitiful as hell. But cops and judges, now I and I have a lot of respect for them. Um, but I just can't have respect for someone who says that to me. Well, hi there from Fort Worth um, that says... He fell from a barn when I'm his mama. But I, why don't they just stop for a second and put their self in my shoes and act like it was their child? How would they feel? How would they feel from what he went to to what he is now? Another thing we just found out, it's going to cost us $3,000 a month to send him to rehab. That is the cheapest rehab and that's one of the best, but it's the cheapest one. Um, our insurance is not going to cover it. So... I said I would do no more fundraisers, but I'm going to try to do another fundraiser. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it in this town. I might do it viral. Um, we might do shirts. Um, I don't know. This town, I, I, I don't know. Um, I know he has a lot of people in this town that love him and um, would do anything for him. Um, but he needs a couple months of this. So if we could raise a couple thousand dollars, it would be awesome. You know, he needs this. And it's, to me, if they're not going to do nothing, they should have to pay for it. And that's just the way I look at it. You know, the people that done it to him, they should have to pay for it. But people say that all the time. How you gonna get? How you going to get blood from Returner? If somebody ain't got shit, you can't get it from them. Um, Roxy, message me. No, Teresa, he wouldn't have. And the other thing about the 14 hours, if they would have, um, oh, I know you do, Penny, you and Pam do, um, do a GoFundMe, I might do that again. Um, I didn't want to. I don't like doing stuff. I hate asking people for stuff, y'all. I do. Because our family's always been fortunate. We ain't had to. But it comes to a point where when you, you got to, you know, be like, 
I got to do what I got to do for my child. Yes, Sharon, he does, but he will not talk to them. He is scared. He will not talk to them. We're hoping with time he will, that he doesn't trust them. He and I can't blame him. Who can blame me? But he's scared, and I'll get into that one night, but I don't want to talk too much because somebody might see this and be like, oh, he's scared. Um, but he gets real nervous. You know, we have to have security around here, you know, real big. I, if you walk outside, he's got to be locked in. Like he's, he's scared. Joseph was never like that, but when something like this happens to you, I promise you, you're going to be, you're going to be different, okay? Um, if I did not have my husband, and I'm going to talk about this. I wouldn't for a long time, um, but I will now. As all of you know that Joseph was adopted, he was adopted by me. Um, I adopted him from his biological father. His biological father does not have any contact with Joseph. He does not have anything to do. Um... Um, good to see you, Sharon. Um, but the first day, and I've never talked about this, but I'm going to, um, yes, Sharon, that's where I got, he got hit in the head. That's where I got who done it. He knew it took him a while to remember. I mean, he was in a coma for six months. Um, but he, re he does remember certain things and, you know, um, but I will say this, I haven't never talked about this on here, but. The first day, the biological dad wanted me to pull the plug. Well, he did have somewhat to do with him, but it was because of the girl that he was with. I love her. She has two children by him. Um, we still communicate. Um, yes, Teresa. PTSD. Um, <coughs> love her to death. Still talk to her. Um, she just lives, you know, in Tennessee, and we live in Georgia, so it's kind of, you know. But um, he loves his brother and sister. Um, we, I just found out he has another child I didn't know about, which I don't care. Um, but he doesn't really have much to do with them either. Um, he took me to court and tried to take Joseph from me, so I can, I've never told y'all about this. Um, but yes, he does, Anita. So he took me to court and tried to take him from me while he was in Shepherds so he could pull the plug and try to tell the judge that I was trying to pull the plug. Everybody laughed about it. You know, all the judges, they know our family. They know what was going on. He didn't get crap. Um, but he quit having anything to do with Joseph. Um, he hasn't in a long time. When his mom passed away, it was always his mom pressuring him. She wanted him to have something to do. When she passed away, he just quit. Well, he had quit before that, but he really quit now. Now, he has an aunt and uncle that have something to do with him. Um, but he doesn't have nothing. But um, my husband is his dad, where it counts. Um, he has been there from day one. He's the one that had the insurance on him. He's the one that done, you know, what he needed to do. Um, he's the one that took care of him. His biological dad looked at me in the hospital and said, um, are you going to wipe his ass? And my husband said, no, I will. I mean, he just said stuff like that. Like, you can't, you, you cannot do what God doesn't want you to do. You have to listen to God and, 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 you know, listen to what he says and go from there. And that's why I never pulled the plug because I knew that Joseph was in there. And <coughs> he can walk somewhat. But now he's bent because he hurt his ankle. He's got his boots and all now. They want him to go back for a couple months of therapy. Then he can go to that school and make it. Clark County. Where's that at? Um, but anyway, long story short... Um, if he goes this couple of months, if we can raise the money, it's three thousand a month, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm thinking at least four months. I don't care if it's two months, that's better than nothing. We could have another fundraiser too, you know, just go from there. But um Yeah, thank God, Kelly. Sandra, state of Georgia is the sorriest state there is. And I hate to say that. Um Florida when we was in Texas, they told us that they couldn't do nothing with Georgia. Because they don't want to work. State of Georgia don't want to help my son at all. He didn't have nobody to help take care of him. It's me and my mama. My husband, when he's home, um, they don't do nothing. Nothing. State of Georgia is the sorriest state when it comes to helping somebody. But then they'll help these other people. Um, exactly, Tina. But, you know, certain people. And, you know, one thing the DA told me, how, how am I going to prosecute on hearsay? I had a cousin. 
that was prosecuted for killing our other cousin over hearsay. So don't come at me with that. Don't come at me with that. Hearsay ain't when... It, when one person says it, okay. When two people say it, but people who don't even hang in the same clique come together and they start spewing it off, but everybody says the same thing, he was hit in the head. Yeah, Alyssa, that's how it goes. But it's a long story short. I have a wonderful husband who will do anything for Joseph, and Joseph calls him dad, and he started calling him dad. It used to be Daddy Michael before he got hurt. But one day, he just started calling him dad, and I asked him why. He said, because mama. He takes care of me. So, there you go. But I will think about the GoFundMe. Um, I just want to come on and let y'all know, and I'm doing so much better. Um, I'm so much healthier. I feel so much better. Um, you know, it's been a long road, and um, I just... I just pray, but um, but I don't. I don't want y'all ever think I'm giving up because I'm not. And they think over there I'm just running off at the mouth, but they don't know me. And if they don't think, if they don't, somebody can't tell them who I am. They don't know me very well at all. Um, I don't care if you're the president of the United States. You are appointed to do a job, and you that gum gonna do it, or go to the house and sit down. That's just how it is. But you don't. Here's the thing: you ain't done nothing. You ain't asking this person questions. You ain't brought in this person for questioning. You're not saying this. You're not saying that. You're not doing nothing. What the hell are you doing? You ain't even called in the mama. Ain't even got her a date yet. You still throwing COVID out, and all these other lawyers is laughing at you because they like what? She still using that excuse, Tatum? Thank you, Beth. So you know, it's whatever. I I find out a lot of stuff and uh, never reveal my sources. But um, let's just pray for the prosecutors and let's pray that they do the right thing and the GBI gets off their ass and does something. But maybe the FBI can help them out. And a lot of people say it's a federal bureau of investigation, but the FBI. But y'all know that Atlanta can, can cure that GBI right on up. And I'm afraid it's fixing to be coming. Pam, um, Marilyn Bennett, she's from Brunswick. She worked at Jackie Johnson's office. Lord help us, Jesus. But happy New Year! We will. I'm gonna try to come on more. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm thinking about doing that, and I'm thinking about the T-shirt. I'm gonna go talk to more to them about the T-shirts. Um, I had them had them do them up one time, and then I got depressed and everything, and didn't do it. So I just need to go tell them that we're gonna be back on with it. But make sure you keep following on here, guys. Yeah, Pam. But we love you guys, and uh, we'll try to come back on here more and um, talk about everything. So um, just keep us in your prayers. Love you guys. Bye.